In an unseen story and sequence of events, Rebecca Jordan, also known as Newt, suffered unimaginable trauma on LV-426, losing her entire family to a brutal, unstoppable alien force. In the original version of Aliens, we never actually meet Newt's family. By the time the character is introduced in the theatrical cut, Newt has been found to have survived the xenomorph outbreak on Hadley's Hope, and we can assume her family has suffered the same fate as all the other colonists found cocooned within the hive. In the years to follow the release of the film, more would be revealed about the ill-fated Jordan family. The special edition of Aliens depicts a brief glimpse of life on the colony before the alien creatures completely take over. Newt is shown traveling with her father, Russell, her mother Anne, and brother Tim to the coordinates of the derelict ship sent by Carter Burke. Russell Jordan volunteers for this expedition with the hopes of plentiful remuneration from Weyland Yutani, not knowing the dangers that awaited him, his family, and the entire population. Newt and Tim wait inside the family tractor as Russell and Anne search the ship. Once returned, Newt is shocked to find an alien parasite attached to her father's face, while her mother screams frantically for help on the radio. The focus of the film's story then returns to Ripley, but there would still be much more to tell of the Jordans in the extended universe media. Alien's Newt's Tale, the 1992 comic from Mike Richardson, and Alien River of Pain, the 2014 novel from Christopher Golden delved deeper into this unseen story. While produced years apart and quite different in many details, the sequence of events leading to the Xenomorph outbreak and the last stand of Hadley's Hope are consistent and don't necessarily contradict each other. Russ Jordan is patient zero to the alien plague, and Newt witnesses the alien burst through her father's chest in the infirmary in a gruesome display. Afterwards, Anne does her best to protect her children, hiding within the barricades of the sublevel storage area, which of course does not hold long. During this attack, Tim grabs a gun and shoots at an alien, then succumbing to the burns of acid blood that followed. This is heard, not seen, by Newt. Numb, Newt turned away, but still she heard the scream, the last sound her brother, her best friend, would ever make. It's the fate of Anne Jordan that might be the most deceptive in the telling of this story. In the comic and the novel, it seems clear enough that she's killed immediately after Tim. In the aftermath of the storage area breach, Christopher Golden's novel literally describes her as a corpse, lying six feet away from her dead son, gun still in hand. Despite the vicious nature of the alien, we know it's within their best interest for the species' propagation to keep hosts alive, especially if unarmed and not a substantial threat such as Anne was. This is a trait of the alien Ripley is well aware of when she makes the decision to search for Newt when she's captured by one of the creatures. And it's within this section of the story that the true fate of Newt's mother is finally revealed, at least in Newt's tale. The comic, while showing the events unfold on Hadley so prior to what's seen in the film Aliens, it also works as more of a straight adaptation of the film, credited as being based upon James Cameron's screenplay. Newt is taken to the hive and we see her awake, cocooned with an egg nearby right before Ripley comes to the rescue, just as in the film. In the comic version, however, Newt's eyes flutter open as she becomes aware of her surroundings, and she looks over to see her mother, dead and cocooned across from her. She screams out in terror, crying for her mom, just before the egg hatches. Just like the other poor souls on the colony, Anne Jordan eventually found her final resting place within the alien hive. There are a few possibilities as to how this may have played out. One being that she wasn't actually dead after the attack, but close enough to it to not show any visible signs of life. After bringing the majority of the colonists to the hive for harvesting, the Queen may have sent her drones out to reassess the aftermath of the storage area massacre, finding and bringing back those who were barely alive, but still viable hosts. It's unclear from what's shown in the comic if an alien burst out from her chest, but another possibility is that she was taken there regardless. Gorman's marines of course find no bodies in their search, so whether or not certain colonists were killed in the last stand or used as hosts, they still were brought to the hive. Either as food, assuming the aliens eat humans, or to serve as contribution to the twisted, obscene architecture of the hell that these beasts use as their home slowly rotting away and fusing to the hive's walls. It's also a possibility that seeing her mother cocooned right across from her was just in Newt's mind. Maybe a fear-induced hallucination, and she mistook the body of another dead colonist for that of her mother's. 
Newt's Tale, being based on Cameron's screenplay, depicts scenes that were scripted but removed from the film, some of which return for the special edition cuts, such as the Jordan's discovery of the derelict and the use of the sentry guns, and others like Burke winding up in the hive, which remain as deleted from both versions. Newt discovering her mother in the alien hive is a moment entirely exclusive to the Newt's Tale comic. It does not appear in the screenplay, or novelization, or any other media related to the colony on LV-426. Likely this was something written by Mike Richardson, not James Cameron. I think it's an effectively eerie moment, though, and I wonder if it could have worked within the film version. Too many stops along the way probably would have hurt the pace of the last act, and I feel the removal of a scene such as Burke being discovered in the hive was probably for the best. But, to have a brief moment of Newt seeing her mother last no more than a few seconds, then cutting right to the egg opening, could have been pretty chilling. Though, maybe that's just too grim. Maybe Newt has already been through enough. But what do you think? Could a brief moment like that work, or is it better suited within the pages of the comic, and only there? Comment below and share your thoughts. As always, I'd like to thank you very much for watching today. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, and you can also subscribe for all the latest videos from the channel. My very special thanks goes out to Wheeling Jutani Executives, Emiric, Mark Fox, and Lady Anne, part of the Patreon Hive. If you'd like to join the Hive and support the channel, check out my Patreon page for exclusive posts and contests. In the meantime, you can catch up with Alien Theory over social media. Follow at Alien underscore Theory on Twitter and at Alien Theory YT on Facebook and Instagram for more. And until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.